What's up, YouTube fam? All right, guys, well, it is Saturday race day, day one of race day, as I was saying, two days of racing. So we got uh, just a little bit of bike work to do. We gotta put on some fresh tires. We got to put off our new plax plastics on that have all the graphics. Not a lot of bike work to do. Um, so we got practice at one o'clock. It's currently just after eight o'clock here in the morning. And in Switzerland, that's uh, about my bedtime in, in, the, in the United States. So um, luckily I did get some sleep last night. Both me and Adam slept actually pretty dang good. Hey, we might have to buy those tires right there. Whatever we gotta do, we just need tires. But um, yeah, both of us got some good sleep. Feeling pretty amped up for today. Dude, it's gonna be sick. I'm feeling good today. I'm ready to put down some hard, um, fast laps. Yeah. Uh, we're ready to do really good. Yeah, either way, we're just gonna have a blast. I mean, being overseas racing is new to yeah, me. I mean, we are here to have a blast, bro, but I'm here to do good. Too. Well, I know, I'm gonna, I know it's, it's, wanna, this is, this is your bread, or this yeah, is work. Well, wanna, yeah, kind of. I mean, we are overseas, so, you know, obviously it's kind of one of those things where you don't want to get hurt and you don't want to be stupid, but you want to kind of showcase what you've got going on. So one of the biggest things on the checklist for this weekend is I want to get at least one whole shot. Um, and I want to try to get a uh, fifth or better in a main event, um, transfer straight out of the heat races and, uh, and uh, do the best we can but definitely one of the big checklists is uh, get a whole shot yeah it starts for everything in, in any type of racing right guys so um, the things that we got going against us that I cannot hang on one sec okay one of the things that we have going against us is don't get us wrong we are on an all stock motor with a nice exhaust race gas but stock ECU and uh, we're way up in altitude. Obviously we have our Supercross suspension and we did re-gear it, come to find out it wasn't even enough. We needed to go a little bigger on the back sprocket, but it is what it is, guys. Either way, I know Adam's gonna give his 110. I'm gonna give my 110 and we're gonna go out there and just make it happen, guys. So let's get a little bit of bike work done. Enjoy the video, let's have some fun. Here's our race machine, boys and girls. Would you just look at it? I mean, would you just look at it? All we gotta do is put some fresh Dunlops on it for the day. Yep. And tomorrow, and we're good to go. Yep. <clears throat> and line our whole shot device, but that's easy. See, it's way over there. Our clamps right here. That needs to come over here, so no big deal. But just look onto it, boys. Dude, it doesn't look near as good without fresh Dunlops, does it? Oh, no. No, like, brand new tires would definitely set it off. A recluse clutch would definitely set it off even more. Yeah. Yeah. I'm digging it. That was all easy, boys. Plastic on. She's looking looking good. So, yeah. On to get some tires now. Uh, look at what a Switzerland Stargate looks like. A little bit different than the States grading, but it should work just fine. A little? A lot, you mean? Hmm. Dude, Dang, I can't believe they like steamrolled these things. Do you think they're just like Castillo's? They're or no? so hard. They're gonna chew out so fast. Oh, I know. Yeah, they're gonna chew out super fast. Yeah, compared to American Supercross whoops, these things I think are small. They're definitely on the smaller side. No, they're not like small size-wise, but they're definitely a little close together. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm trying to get you guys a perspective. Just watch Adam go down these ones here. Dude, honestly, with how tacky they are, they might turn into jumpers. They might. But there you go. So they're just below his hips deep. I don't know. They're so tight, I don't think they're 
Right. Guys, so we're just finishing up our final look at the track before we come back to practice, seeing if there's anything else that we need to kind of prepare for. Uh, obviously, it looks a lot better on the track than it did yesterday. Um, yeah, I mean, all good vibes, guys. I mean, it's gonna be fun, so. Track is hard packed and super sticky. I mean, the dirt is like, when you walk on it, it like sticks to your shoe, but not like, doesn't stay on your shoe, if you guys know what I mean. It's just really, really tacky dirt, and it's gonna rut up hard. It's gonna rut up gnarly. All right, guys, so we're at like the local shopping mall here, right by the, by the airport, and what's funny is yesterday, Adam and I, we walked a good solid like three miles just through like the suburbs of, I don't know. I don't even know where we're at. I mean, yeah, was, but I don't even know if we stayed in Geneva, honestly. Yeah, we were in Geneva. Anyways. Oh, we might have, we might have got to Italy by the time. <laughs> I don't know. We walked a long time, but anyways, we just crossed the street from our airport and then there's this huge shopping mall. So, yep, we're tourists. Get some from my boot. That's me. <laughs> All right, boys, major conundrum. They don't know about bang over here, which is a big deal for your boy, because that is my keto choice of energy drink, because I'm not big on the other weird brand of like uh, artificial sweeteners, right? So bang CEO, I know you watch my videos. Get over here. Get over to Switzerland, get over to Europe, get your drinks. Cause I gotta buy this kind of stuff, man. And I mean, it tastes good. I, I do like the Red Bulls, but man, the artificial sweeteners that they use is just not my flavor. You know what I mean? All right, that's my PSA for the day. Hey guys, well, we got rear tire on anyways. No front tire yet, but this one might work. I don't know, there's two hours on it, but. We would like a freshie. We're trying to get one, but we did get a fresh Dunlop for the rear. Right now, in line for tech inspection. As far as I know, it's like the same basic thing as like the US. They just kind of make sure that you have all the stuff in the right spot and then send it. All right, guys, we got all dialed in. Uh, we're ready for practice. Addy's getting dressed up right now. And we're gonna head out there, go do some practice, get the track dialed, figure out what we need to change, if anything. and. Should be a pretty good day. I mean, so this is what the pits are looking like right now. So they have it kind of, um, everyone who's in freestyle motocross is all over there. So they have a, actually a pretty good freestyle motocross expedition going on. And then they got the SX Tour. These guys have been doing this around all of Europe as far as I know, racing different, you know, series. And then we're in the wild cards next to Martin Davalos, Joey Crown's over there on the 250. Um, so it's kind of cool, you know. And then, yeah, we got, um, like, the, oh, gosh, yeah, the, the Honda team's back there. They kind of got their own zone, which is rad for them. So, like, Brayton's back there. Mookie's back there. There's Mr. Lessie. So, yeah, guys. So, let's get out there and do some practice.
just went okay and a lot of it was because the front end was just he said he couldn't get any grip down on the front end this used tire is just not doing it luckily when we were gone our new dunlop mx33f showed up so your boy is gonna swap this out real quick and uh, hopefully that'll give him the the better bite in the turns he's looking for so let's get this going seconds later got the front tire on set at 13 psi uh we checked sag which is good oil the chain rest hydrate and we'll go back out practice number two and uh, see if we could improve on some lap times now that the, the track is getting it's deteriorating quick it's very soft so that's kind of the issue right now uh, but this front tire is going to help a lot that's what we couldn't see those are the swiss alps baby Look at those. it's been so gloomy dude that looks like ski resort city bro it is too Look at the skate park right there. I seen that a couple days ago though when we drove up.
but that was second practice. It went okay. So what we're battling right now is that bike is completely stock, right? So ECU, everything, I mean stock cam, stock piston, stock everything, right? So the biggest problem that we're that we're encountering right now is it's uh, especially with the stock clutch in it right now, there's just really no way to get any power out of it. So um, you guys saw he was running about six in, in qualifying, which isn't bad. I mean, considering he's up against, you know, some, pre some pretty good competition, you know, Justin Brayton, Justin Barsha. Um, those guys are hauling butt. Uh, Malcolm Stewart. Cedric Sobreas is hauling ass. He's absolutely going real fast. The competition out here, is, it's really good. It's really stiff. I mean, some good, some heavy hitters out here. So for him to be about six after that last one is pretty good. So, uh, but considering we're just gonna have to do the best that we can with what we have and just hope uh, get a good start and set a good pace. <clears throat> but I mean, other than that guys, we ain't got nothing to complain about. We're in Switzerland, racing dirt bikes, having a blast, you know? So, gonna take a little break, but you guys won't be able to tell. But I'm gonna take a little break, go up to the rim for a little bit, and get back to work. Up here on the sound stage, getting ready for the night show, boys. They got some pretty cool things planned with Adam. You'll see in the vlog here, it's gonna be pretty sweet here in Geneva. It's gonna be a pretty big stadium, pretty packed out. Very excited for this. It's gonna be really, really good. But uh, gonna head down very shortly here, get into the pits, start getting our bike decked out, ready to go. It basically is, but you know, just go over last minute hardware checks and make sure everything's torqued down, ready to go for the big show. right now getting all the stands packed and ready to rumble so we're gonna get through all this madness and we're gonna get to some racing let's go
Position five. Not a bad five, job, baby. my dude. Not bad at all. Not a bad job, especially on a stock stock bike, bro. Yeah. Honestly, bro, <laughs> the stock power on this track's not bad because it's just so fucking gnarly. I don't right. know if I can handle much more. Right. Because it's so tacky. But if you had more, you just get yourself into some situations. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I don't. Tonight, it's not about horsepower. It's about control. Yeah. It's about having. Make sure you got really fucking stiff suspension and fucking 
thank God for freaking Clark at No Lean, dude. We set my shit up so stiff before I left. It was like I wanted full Supercross shit, and I kind of took a gamble because I was like, you know, the track kind of looked a little small, but you never know. You know what I mean? And it was kind of one of those things where we took a gamble, and it definitely paid off it having paid the off. bike that stiff. Hell yeah. Yeah, Clark hooked it up. Wow, that dude. Bike is suspension's working good. I wish the back would be a little bit lower. Like okay. I want the rear to be a little bit more planted. We can put more sag in it. Yeah. Is that not what you want? You maybe want like a lower high speed? No, I'm maybe looking for even like a cut subframe just for tonight. Oh, uh, okay. You know, cause like on a normal night, I would, I'd want it like this because it's a lot more fat, like faster and smoother. Right. But like for tonight, how ruddy it is, you know, the rear end's kind of up in my ass. Yeah. And it's, it's easier to turn like that. I was going to say, you can get in those insides nice. Yeah, you don't even need to turn because mm. it's so sticky. So, on the back section, then in that rhythm is where you would really love it. Yeah, and in the whoops. And whoops, yeah. Because they're just so side to side right now. Right, yeah, it's swappy. Yeah. All right, guys. So, after this race, Adam has something really cool that him and I both didn't expect. This is going to be rad. Let's check this out.
the takeaway from that bad start and uh, that track is rough you really can't tell um, but that I mean it's tight it's rough and homeboy his arms pumped up like shit. his arms pumped up what do you do I mean he obviously salvaged there's not, there's, honestly there's nothing we can do about tonight I rode tight I made some bad decision on suspension my front ends really stiff um, and we kind of made it stiffer and it was working good in practice and then I made it stiffer because I did something with the shock that was the wrong way yeah but um you know what uh, I got the arm pump out of the way like tonight we rode a lot we rode tight but um, tomorrow uh, like always I'll be a lot more relaxed you get um, more sleep yep get more sleep yeah and uh, the jet lag is real tomorrow, you know and to the other thing is we I've been riding super cross there's no excuse but no. We, the track was tight and uh, I was a little bit out of the element but everybody was so. same stage we're gonna um, regroup come back tomorrow mm -hmm. and uh, get some shit done yeah so we're guys gonna, uh, try to do better on our heat race and then uh, definitely better in the main event. Yeah. So guys, watch out for tomorrow's vlog. It's uh, a lot of work doing all the wrenching, then going straight up to the hotel room, editing and uploading. So please like the video. I love throwing them down for you guys. And then, uh, yeah, I have another vlog coming up tomorrow. So be on the lookout. And I'm sure our day will be better. So we'll talk to you then. Love you guys. Peace out.